uh, uh, something I want to, to mention to my brothers, may Allah bless you all, as a reminder to us first and to all of you that uh, we should uh, study our deen. Like I mentioned many times, study our deen, because when you study the deen, there's many people you are listening to, you will not be listening to anymore. Because you have the Quran, the Sunnah, and the way of the Salaf. There will be no entertainment. But when you have no Quran, Sunnah, you haven't studied, you will listen to anyone. So we have to learn our deen, learn what is our purpose in this life, how to worship our Creator, you know, because one day we have to live this life. We're not going to stay here forever. That's the fact, that's the reality, which we're going to try to run away from. But that's the reality. So we have to learn what is our purpose of life, why we're here, why we have to die. Understand, my brothers? So that's my advice to you. And uh, also I want to mention something which is becoming widespread in our communities. Something become widespread amongst our, in our communities. Charging people for teaching them. Charging people for teaching them. Yes, sometimes you can do it, because especially if you don't have, you're not working and you spend a lot of time, but to utilize the people's needs and you start charging people ridiculous money for one course, one month course, that's not the way of Islam. That will put off many people. We have to try our best to help the people. Alhamdulillah, in our message, that sunnah, all the class is free. Likewise, our message, al sunnah jamaah all class are free. There is no charge. If they will charge you, charge you to pay the rent for the place, that's it. If they're going to rent a hall to teach you. But to teach the people, akhi, subhanallah, why I see people uh, uh, charging brothers and sisters to teach them Islam, Ridiculous money, Akhi. One of the guys in America, 4,000 a year. Brother, who is going to become a who? Uh, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah's guy? No, Akhi, wallah, it's aib. This aib, you know? Rather, especially for the reverts. For everyone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, we said the Prophet, لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. We don't want no reward from you. No thanks. Teaching the people for free. Now, if you do private classes because you have to, you have family and so on, but you have to be realistic. Charging people 300, 400. Or I, I didn't know that you have to learn how to have a second wife. Or how to, how to become a man. Now you give advice to the young brothers, young sisters from the Quran and the Sunnah. But start utilizing this need to make money from people. That's ridiculous. You know? How, yes, of course. Get the young brothers, young sisters. Teach them what is the way to... Uh, Islamically, from the Quran and the Sunnah, how to be a man, how to be not high value man. This term, we should not use it. We should not use this term. This term has been used by this Andrew Tate. May Allah guide him. You know, high value man is not a man that takes picture next to Lamborghini. High value man is not a man that takes picture behind him his palace. High value man is not a man that takes picture showing his diamond watch. High value man is not, no. And I'll show you that Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam was sitting down with his companions. Sitting down with who? With his Sahaba companions. One, one, one man walked past by them. He said to his Sahaba, what do you think about that person? They said, oh, messenger of Allah, that person, if the people, if he propose for marriage, no one accept him. And if he try to mediate between the people, no one accept him. Then moment later, another person walked past. He said, what about that person? What do you think about him? They said, oh, messenger of Allah, this man, if he propose himself for marriage, they will accept him. And if he mediates between the people, they will accept his mediation. He said, but Allah, the first man, better than the second man 1,000 times. So according to Andrew Tate, may Allah guide him to Islam, that's why he needs Islam, he needs some time to step back and think and become a Muslim, to, to not spread misguidance. You know, so the things he said we agree with is true, no doubt, but because there's no guideline, he's just uh, uh, following uh, desires. So, but we see one other brother, and I would say openly, that one man, he's doing the same thing. He's making this, he said, I have value, man, and taking pictures of his Lamborghini. Now, uh, Nabi Aya Sallallahu told us, who is the man that pleased to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala? Let us see from the Quran. Fir'aun, Fir'aun, according to this definition, is a high value man. Man of authority, man of power, wealth, leader, emperor. But in the sight of Allah, doesn't word even an ant. But who is better than him? His wife, Asiya bint Muzahim. Asiya bint Muzahim, may Allah please with her, she was not deceived. She was not moved by the wealth and the leadership and the authority of Fir'aun. And Allah mentioned her in the Quran as an example for us to follow in her firmness in deen. So we should not jump on something because the kuffar doing it. We jump. 
Naam, we need to teach our young brothers, especially some young brothers, spending hours on playing games. This man, if he gets married, there's not going to be a responsibility. You know, he's playing games. Even some sisters contact us, say, Akhi, my husband always playing games. This man is a joke then. You understand? Likewise, we have to explain our sisters, be aware of feminism, because feminism destroys families. If you want to be, if you want to know how to live your life, then read the stories of the prophet's wives, the story of the mother of Jesus, may Allah please with her, and so on. Barakallahu alaykum. So utilizing this stuff, Akhi, this high value man, and a high value woman, no, and a woman that likes you for your money, that's not a true woman. A woman goes for, of course, she has to go for the look, because she's going to marry someone she'll be happy with, but also for the deen. For the deen. Barakallahu alaykum. So be careful, my brothers. We should not jump on something because people are doing it. No. This definition will not accept it. The same thing he's doing. Andrew Tate took a picture in front of his Lamborghini. I don't know which car. That one man's taking a picture next to Lamborghini. Come on, Khwal. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And why is our deen? Why is it? Naam, there's no harm to participate in the dunya, to have money. There's no harm with that. But money is not the asal, it's not the objective goal. What is the objective goal? To live according to Allah's teaching, which is following Prophet Muhammad wasalam. And uh, uh, Andrew Tate, he said, those people who say money does not make you happy, tell them to give you the money. I will tell you from our scholars who rejected Imam Ahmad Rahim Ta'ala. Al Khalifa gave him equivalent to our money, 500,000 pounds at that time. He rejected it, he said, I don't want it. He said to his son, give all of it away. Prophet Muhammad wasalam, the best man, when Jibri came to him, he said, Allah, send me. Oh, Muhammad, do you want to be the king? Do you have everything, leadership, the king? you be rich. He said, no. Because I'm not from here. That's not from me. Ah, as a stranger. Look at teaching Prophet Muhammad So this Dawah man Allah guide him. What is he teaching? From the Quran. The Sunnah is going to uh, Andrew Tate of Islam. He said, I tell you, 300 pounds a course to teach my to be a real man. I mean, to be a real man, go back home and live a hard life. And you see, you see, back home, five, nine years old, he's doing business. Wallahi, akhi. Back home, 11, he's a real man. Hasala. Understand? You know, that's alhamdulillah. We're not saying we should not negate the shabab or not teach them, but we should not teach, we should not mix the truth with the falsehood, the honey with the poison. No, we teach them Quran, the Sunnah, and the world, the Salaf. How the Sahaba before that, the Prophet and the Messengers. You know, SubhanAllah. So in Islam, we don't negate the money, but money is not the asal. It's not the asal. And a woman that likes you only for money is not a woman that you want to be with. Because this life changes, Akhi. Today you reach, tomorrow can be, you can become broke. You understand? The woman that stays with her husband in a hardship and ease, that's the woman that you're looking for. You understand? Alhamdulillah. So be, be careful, my brothers and sisters. Be aware. We should not just blind follow. Barakallahu alaykum. We are not in need of red pill movement or feminism. Because both of them are based upon philosophical ideology, which is liberalism. You understand? Both of them based upon battle. What we need Quran, what we need to do, study, learn Quran, the Sunnah, and the way of the Sahaba. May Allah please them all. That's Allah give us the victory. Barakallahu alaykum. This is just a reminder. This for me first. And you know, money can deceive people, subhanAllah.